Okay, power series. Power series is essentially um, polynomials, right? It's polynomials uh, added up in certain pattern, right? So that we can write it in the form of sigma. So this is a standard uh, power series, but instead of x, if you have um, every constant, so these arbitrary constants, if they're multiple of x minus a, we say this is a power series about uh, the number a. Okay, or center about the A. So let's uh, begin with a uh, relatively easy example. When does this power series, you can see that because it's got an X, right, it's a power series, when does this power series converge? Okay, and to evaluate that, we need to consider the ratio test. So AN plus one over AN. So X minus three to the power of N plus one, right, N plus one, AN, I'm going to multiply this by 1 over a n, so you get n over x minus 3 to the power of n. Okay, so x minus 3 to the power of n times by x minus 3. You get x minus 3 to the power of n. Okay, so I just wrote here that as this. Okay, and I wrote that just under here. Now I have n over n plus 1 left over. I'm just going to write that separately. n over n plus 1. Okay, so that cancels out. So what we have is an x minus 3 times by n over n plus 1. Now that's going to approach right, x minus 3 strictly because we know that that will approach 1 as n approaches infinity. So for what value of x does this converge? We know that for ratio test, this has to be uh, less than one to converge. Okay, so absolute value of x minus three less than one actually means the same thing as between negative one and one. Add all three sides by x, right? It's, it's two and four, okay? X is between two to four. When x, are, x fall in that range, this particular power series converge. Okay, find the domain of the Bessel function of order zero defined by this. Okay, so we again, we have to use the ratio test. Right, this whole thing, we let that be a n. Right, so then a n plus one, right, a n plus one must be this. Right, all the n's replace with n plus one. So we get x to the power of two times n plus one. Two to the power of two, n plus 1, n plus 1 factorial whole thing squared. Okay, Divide by the reciprocal of this, so we get to have what's on the top at the bottom, so x to the power of 2n, at the bottom at the top. Okay, so let's collect the like factors together, so x to the power of 2n, that's 2n plus 2, so I'm going to write that as x squared all over x to the power of 2n. So I just collected uh, this one and this together. Next, let's collect uh, 2 to the power of 2n with 2 to the power of 2n plus 1. So 2 to the power of 2n, 2 to the power of 2n uh, plus 2, again that's 2 to the power of 2. Okay. Lastly, n factorial squared. And here, this is the same thing as right, n plus 1 times by n factorial all squares. So I can say square this and square that. Okay, let's reduce what we can. So we can reduce this, we can reduce this, and we can reduce that. A lot disappears. Okay, so we have x squared on top, and at the bottom we have right, 4 over n plus 1 squared. Okay, so this is clearly approaching 0 as n approaches to infinity, which means for all real values of x, this particular function is absolutely converging. It's converging. Okay, so the domain, in other words, i.e., the domain is x belongs to a set of all real numbers, or we can set in the number 
uh, interval notation minus infinity to infinity. Okay, so theorem of convergence for power series. So for any given power series, there are only three possibilities. Right? It converges at a particular value of x equals a, so which turns out into zero. Uh, the series converges to all value of x. So we just did an example like that. It was the uh, Bessel function. And there is a positive value r such that the series converges for less than r. So this is when we are considering the ratio test. Right, so if it's, if it's less than this r, then it's convergent. If it's greater, then it's divergent. We call this r the radius of convergence. Okay, so let's um, do this question as an example. Right, find the radius of convergence for this uh, power function. And we have to consider the ratio test. Okay, so we get minus 3 to the power of n plus 1, x to the power of n plus 1, square root of n plus 1, so square root of n plus 2. Okay, all of that um, divided by a n, so I'm just going to multiply by the reciprocal, so square root of n plus 1. Okay, like that. So let's bring the like terms together. Uh, the m plus square root of m plus 1 over square root of m plus 2, okay? And the minus 3, m plus 1 minus n gives you exactly 1. By the way, this is going to turn into a positive 3 because there's an absolute value on the outside. And we have x to the power of m plus 1 minus n, so it's just 1. Okay, so let's take the limit of this. First, I'm going to take down the 1 root. It's n plus 1 over n plus 2. Uh, the negative 3 becomes 3, essentially, because of the absolute value with x. Now, as n approaches to infinity, that's going to become 1, right? Because we can divide the top and bottom by n to get the following. Right? So this whole thing inside will become that, and that's clearly approaching 1. So this whole absolute value expression is approaching 3x. Okay, absolute value of 3x, and this has to be less than 1. Okay, so we want the um, the radius of convergence for x, right? So what we need to do is isolate x. Right, so this is the same thing as this. So absolute value of x is less than 1 over 3. So that right there is the radius of convergence. We find the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence of this particular series. So let's consider the ratio test again. A n over a, so a n plus one over a n. Okay, so a n plus one is n plus one, x plus two to the power of n plus one, right, uh, over three to the power of n plus two. Right, so instead of dividing by, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of this. So you get 3 to the power of n plus 1 over um, n times x plus 2 to the power of n. Okay, so if you combine the x, uh, x plus 2 to the power of n plus 1, so there's 1 here and 1 there, you got to subtract the exponents. So that's n plus 1 minus n okay and we have n plus 1 over n and we have 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus n plus 2 okay so you get x plus 2 n plus 1 over n and that gives you exactly 1 over 3. So this is going to approach, right? It's going to approach just 1 over 3, x plus 2, absolute value, as n approaches to infinity. Because we know that this is a simple rational expression, and that's going to approach 1 as n approaches to infinity. Okay, so this has to be less than 1 to converge. For the power series that converged, which means the same thing as this. So if I isolate the absolute value of x plus 2, 
it's 1 over 3 it's less than 1 over 3 that's the um, radius of convergence okay convergence and the interval convergence you got to solve this inequality so we get x plus 2 is between 1 over 3 and negative 1 over 3 so x is between 1 over 3 minus 2 uh, that gives you minus 5 over 3 minus 7 over 3 okay so this is the interval of convergence